I took a break from vlogging for a week, but I am back. I woke up kind of late today compared to when I normally wake up. I woke up at like 9.30 today and I am so sore <laughs> for the stupidest reason. Let me show you why. I was trying to do the flexibility challenge on TikTok. <laughs> and that is why I am so sore. I'm gonna go to the grocery store in a bit. Not because I need groceries, no. I don't have enough tampons because my period came. This is my homework for printmaking. I was allowed to do whatever I wanted, so I chose to do snakes with and peonies. Kind of like a tattoo design. Honestly, I'll probably use it as a tattoo design in the future, but I just had to do it in pen and ink. And I think my dip pen skills have improved a lot since the first time I used it, so I was pretty happy about that. My professor also really liked this, which surprised me because I didn't think he would. It took me around 5 hours to finish drawing this piece, which is not that bad. I'm gonna work out now and I'm gonna do the Alexis Ren 10 minute ab workout first and then I'm gonna do this 45 minute full body workout by Emmy Wong. What a sunny day! <laughs> So I am currently tattooing myself because I was like, why not? And I already did the outline and you guys can just watch me shade, I guess. <laughs> So this is how much I got done, but I'm gonna take a break because my brain cells are dying. Finished. <sighs> Today's plan is to re-dye my hair because it has been a month and it is getting brassy and then while I wait for that, I'm gonna clean and then wash my hair and then clean I need to clean my bathroom, room, and workspace after that, I'm gonna eat, work out, work on homework I am using a mixture of blue, green, and gray hair dye and we'll see how this turns out wow, I'm so bloated Hair has been dyed, and now we start cleaning. I just finished up cleaning my room, bathroom is clean, and now I'm gonna wash my hair. Very nice. I don't even know where to start.
so much cleaner thank god i ordered these two really pretty cups and i also ordered two plates which should be coming soon really excited and now i'm gonna disinfect everything for dinner, I just have some fish cake here and then shrimp with broccoli and tofu and sriracha and I have a glass of oat milk here. I've been trying my best to enjoy coffee with less sugar, but so far, I just can't get used to the taste. Well, with time, hopefully, that will come. Um, I'm working on the interior one. Okay, should I take a picture of it and then put it and then do the screen here thing? Hey guys, <clears throat> I need water. <laughs> I started a project for painting, but I ended up scratching it because I, was, I just wasn't feeling it. Even if you come up with new ideas, sometimes they just don't work out and that's okay. It looks like a person! Oh my god! My plates came, I'm so excited. I've been waking up pretty early around 7.30, literally every day. I don't know why, so I usually just spend the first two hours drawing some new designs. I have finished. me around two hours. I've dead ass been eating the same exact thing every day. I'm so full. That was so good. I have this habit where if I like something, I'm gonna keep on eating it every single day until I get tired of it. Now I've been kidding, one time, I liked spaghetti so much that I had it every single day, morning and dinner for like two weeks straight. <laughs> drawing my fish i will get out of bed finally it's like 11 right now i woke up at 8 and i've just been lying around <laughs> since then i'm gonna get out of bed have a cup of coffee work out and then the rest i'll figure out later but for breakfast i had another bag of frozen mango i'm addicted these are so good i have finished my fishies I was a little mentally drained, so I went onto the balcony to relax and listen to music. It was really nice until my allergies came. Take a hit, take a hit, take another one. Hold your breath till it turns you on. 
Let your feet leave the ground, hold my hand and don't let go Take a trip, take a trip, we can get away Lose ourselves and say Anything that we want, it's okay Cause this is love I don't care if it kills me I got this merch sweatshirt from Sarah Because I really like her videos But honestly, it's like oddly shaped i think this is like extra large or large so i'm just gonna crop it into something that i would actually wear because i i got it mainly because i really liked the chinese character here also yeah my mirror is really dirty i need to clean it does it have to be perfect i've been wanting to do this for a while i just got too lazy to do it I could also like show this part, but I'm too lazy to hand sew. And I'm also gonna cut the seam here a little bit. So this is what it looks like after I cropped it. I think it's much better. It will look cute with a sports bra under. And I would actually wear it. And then my fabric down here, I'm just gonna use it as like a paint rag. Oh, so bright. Oh, so bright, so bright. Today's sweater is so nice. It is amazing how I can eat the same thing every day until I get tired of it. So since my printmaking professor really enjoyed my first piece, he told me to do basically the same thing for my second piece, which is what I did. I uh, decided to kill two birds with one stone here. <laughs> Someone really liked the piece I did earlier and they asked me to design something similar that would fit on their arm, which is what I am doing here. I think using a dip pen is so much more fun than using like a micron pen because you get so much more line variation just from one nib and that's great. For this piece, I used two nibs. I used one that was more flexible and it created larger lines while the other one was a bit stiffer and it made very thin detailed lines. This one took around three and a half hours to draw. I was really happy with it. My professor also really liked it. Uh, for my final piece, he was like, do another one. So I will be working on that this week. I know I broke the rules here. This will be explained at the end of the vlog. Oh, what let sound of shit ink? It needs to be English. Mm. Oh, my face is covered in ink. I just want to this also cover up. Yeah, yeah. But what else? Many. Then this will not be too difficult. Easy. Really? Finished? I'm in the picture. Oh, 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 oh.
driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Hey, me got me acting out, got me trying to stay so. Got me trying to stay so. Wanted your love, and I'm out here hungover. Oh my gosh, I'm cutting. Oh, Finna? Good. I have been obsessed with this game called Snape Squad on Snapchat because you just go and like you look like a worm and then you just kill people. Ah! I always play this when I'm on break or like when I'm bored. <laughs> Could be doing other stuff, but it's okay. This is for one of my painting assignments and it was to draw the inside of a body, so like the veins, arteries, etc. And I chose to take an abstract approach to this. Last semester for one of my finals, I did something similar where I experimented with acrylic ink and salt. So that's what I did for this one too. I think that the way the ink spreads with the water and like salt makes it kind of look like veins arteries i don't know honestly i can't bs this <laughs> but yeah anyways i made six pieces and i will figure out how to combine them and make it look more put together later So I realized that I look a bit weird right now because I was trying out this makeup look by Hailey. Um, she looked so beautiful, so I wanted to try it. I, do, I, I just look kind of weird, kind of whack, kind of dumb. Anyways, I realized that I did not really talk through this vlog. I just kind of did things and I was like kind of too occupied by what I was doing to really explain it. So I'm just going to talk now. It's going to be kind of of a bit of a ramble because I try to organize my thoughts but it doesn't really work out. First thing, school update. Currently, next week is my last day of school. I'm in finals right now. I don't feel like I am. I'm not stressed at all despite having a shit ton of essays due that I procrastinated on. I think now I've figured out a better way to handle my stress. I just go through each day by itself. I know that once I sit myself down and put 100% concentration into whatever I am doing, I will finish it very quick because I'm a pretty fast worker when I need to be. I just sometimes don't wanna be. My final painting critique is next week. So I already have a few pieces done. This painting, I didn't really show you guys this 
while I was working on it because I just put 100% focus into it. But yeah, I'm going to be working on this painting throughout the week. I don't see any point in stressing myself out with school because now is not the time to stress myself out. I've been very focused on mental health these days. I've been binge watching Hitomi recently and she is such a beautiful person with such good energy. Resonated with the last stuff she said. Okay, I'm going on a tangent again. That was not where I was supposed to go to. I not... Okay, tattoo updates. Clearly in this vlog, I got two new tattoos. The first one I did by myself. Before anyone gets mad that I tattooed myself, I am a trained apprentice. I've been doing this for many, many hours. And also, as an apprentice, normally a lot of them, they start out by tattooing themselves just so you know how deep your needle is going and you have some experience with skin before you move on to tattooing real people because I'm sure none of you guys that get a tattoo from me want me to mess up on you. I don't want to mess up on you either. That's why I am practicing on my own skin. Honestly, by the end of quarantine, if I have a whole leg sleeve, I'm not even gonna be surprised. Like, if I mess up on myself, it doesn't really matter to me because I can just fix it anytime in the future. The second one, this one on my neck, I know everyone's gonna get mad because I know that I broke social distancing rules. But let me explain myself. My tattoo friend, he lives above me, a floor above me in the same building. We really haven't gone out except like four blocks down to get groceries so we were like it's probably safe he knows all the precautionary steps to take because he actually experienced pretty much everything and after it was safe he came back to new york but <laughs> well, yeah we were safe with everything we did we disinfected everything i know that i broke the rules <sighs> don't know what i say for myself i've also been designing a lot of tattoo designs for the future, whenever the shop opens. So I'm really excited to do those. Future tattoo ideas. Um, Since I have a flower hair, I'm thinking about adding more petals to my neck area and collarbone area. I didn't do that when this was tattooed because this was so fucking painful. I thought I was gonna die. But yeah, I plan on adding like more stuff around here. I'm probably gonna get this covered up in the future. Um, One on my arm covered up and then one on my leg covered up. But I'm still young. I have a lot of time to do that. Ow! I want to say that I'm very grateful for what I have here. And my heart goes out to all the essential workers that still have to go out every day. And I hope that they stay safe. And I hope that you guys stay safe and everyone stays safe. Speaking of which, I think I want to be in New York for a while because I don't want to go back home. I kind of get more stressed back at home. So staying here will help me work on being zen. Speaking of which, time has passed so fast. I have completely lost track of time. I can't even remember what I did yesterday. It's amazing because ever since freshman finals happened, everything just happened so fast. And it's been, it's been a pretty crazy time since then. I went through this really weird phase in the summer to like fall semester. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I was like, I was really crazy. But then when second semester started, I was a lot more zen because I was a lot more busy. And I think that I've learned a lot through the past few months. My current motto is good energy only, but I just realized how young I am. I'm only 19, going 20 in like a few months, but I've learned so much throughout the past few months. So imagine the amount that I could learn and like grow throughout the next few months. Last thing, I partnered up with Audible for this video. So thank you to Audible for sponsoring me. If you guys don't know what they are, they are an online website where you can listen to audiobooks. And one audiobook that I have been listening to is called The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. Um, I chose this book because I recently read Norwegian Wood by the same author a month ago. And I really enjoyed it because I really enjoy his surrealistic style of writing. Whenever I read it, I just feel very weird. But yeah, I've been listening to it whenever i feel kind of mentally drained and want to take a break from my phone 
or like whenever I'm taking a break from doing homework. And by downloading your audiobook, you can listen to Audible whenever you want and wherever you want. Now members can download all of the Audible original monthly selection rather than having access to just two of them and one free audiobook of your choice. I'm sure that a lot of you guys are stressed out by the situation, so Audible members have unlimited access to guided wellness programs, and these wellness programs include popular sleep programs that can help you wind down during this time. So everyone has been using social media, Netflix, especially TikTok to stay entertained. But let me tell you, stories can keep you entertained too. That is why Audible has launched stories.audible.com where anyone, anywhere can download stories for free. You don't even have to be a member to be able to download these free stories. This experience is completely ad-free. You don't even need to download the app. You don't have to sign up or log in. You can just click stream and listen. So if you want what I just said, don't forget to go to www.audible.com slash cup of jasmine or you can text the code cup of jasmine to 500 500 in order to get one free audiobook unlimited audible originals and a 30-day free trial so don't forget to check out the link in my description box for that and this will be the end of the vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and i will see you guys very soon bye boop